YouTube, Eugene here with a review on the Avatar Sentai, Don Brothers, Change Heroes, Saru Brother, Oni Sister, Inu Brother, and Kaiji Brother. Yes, friends, let's go ahead and take a look at the boxes, and we'll start off with Saru Brother. So, here's the front of the box. Here's the back of the box. And then, uh, here is Oni Sister, so here is the uh, front of the box. Here's the back of the box. Next, here is Inu Brother. So here is the front of the box. And here is the back of the box. And lastly, here is Kaiji Brother. And so here is the front of the box. And here is the back of the box. And so friends, let's go ahead now, get to it and bust these figures out. All right, friends, so these Change Hero figures are fully painted. Well, sorta, and they are nicely articulated, which the standard length scale of these are three and a half inches tall, as Inu Brother is roughly three inches tall, and Kaiji Brother is roughly five inches tall. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in Don Mobotaro here with the group here, mainly to complete our team of our 46 Sentai and honestly friends it is nice to see this color scheme of the five core again with red blue yellow black and pink as the last time we saw this color scheme for the five core team was Gosager which was 12 years ago. All right friends we're taking a look at the remaining four Don Brothers Change Hero figures and we'll start off with Saru Brother. And so he is the blue sentry of the series, which he is based on the monkey from the legend Mobotaro. And so Sire Brothers design I like as he is more gorilla-like with a muscular physique, which is something real monkeys lack. And so he is bigger and he is bulkier in his main color, which is blue. And of course, getting a close-up of the very nice helmet sculpt, uh, which is pretty much giving me a vibe of Juo Gorilla from Ju Ujir, and pretty much that primate style proportion, which are similar to that. So, anyway, and get a little more close up, you can see you got a small peach emblem in gold with silver details above the visor, which again, the visor still giving me a gold busters vibe. And so, anyway, on his sleeve, got a fur-like material that's something that Okami Blue from Q Ranger had that nice fur details. So right off the bat, friends, missing some silver paint detailings on the wrist elbow cuffs, as well as the boot ankle cuffs. And then we got some silver paint on the sleeves here and on the other side as well. And so on the chest, getting a nice good close up here, but the chest still giving me that Go Kaiger vibe with the color coded suit over black undersuit with white lining going down the suit with the uh, two Don Brothers emblems on the chest there. Looks really nice there. And then I got the uh, Don Bro buckle, which is in red with the peach emblem in silver. And so friends, Saru Brother is the only male member of the team that does not have a coattail set on his suit. But they do have nice detail abs in place of it and pretty much part of his motif here. And so anyway, got the black pants. And of course, there's those knee pads, pretty much that PlayStation control vibe that I have with them. And then uh, there is his boots and the boots are kind of hollow here. And so on the back here, this really tickles me here. But anyway, got the uh, red paint for his monkey butt, which I am very, very thankful they added that. Because this is why it really makes me crack up here. But anyway, and so anyway, and lastly, friends, uh, pretty much missing paint detailings on the wrist, elbow cuffs, and boot ankle cuffs, which should be silver here on the back of the figure here, you know. And so again, friends, this guy really cracks me up in design wise, and he might be my most favorite out of the team here. So articulation is pretty solid for this figure like Don Mobotaro's, but the head uh, does move left and right and it swivels up and down and also pops off. And so anyway, and so the shoulders, the shoulders move out which can rotate to a 
full 360. And again, still got that feature which pulls out the torso for more motion uh, movement. And you know, you can pretty much uh, can move the arms in and out. And so anyway, got a nice little uh, elbow bend here. And then uh, got a nice elbow rotation here. And then we got a nice uh, wrist rotation as well. So you can rotate the, uh, the uh, wrist as well. And then uh, we got some nice waist uh, movement here and it does pop off. And of course the feet do move forward and somewhat back a little. And then I uh, got a, a nice thigh rotation here. And then we do have a nice knee bend here which is not a 90 degree bend, but I'll take this kind of bend here. And of course, my most favorite thing out of these figures is pretty much the ankles here, which are on a ball joint for some really uh, cool ankle tilts, which pretty much, uh, you know, you can do some really cool uh, poses that Saru Brother can actually do, you know? So real quickly, let me go ahead and just get them into a quick little pose here. You know, like, a, you remember that, that uh, muscular physique I was talking about. But uh, anyway, something like this of a pose here. But sadly, friends, I hate to say this, but this figure does not come with any accessories. Just him only. Next here is Oni's sister, the yellow century of the series, which she is based on the Uni, the antagonist from the Momotaro legend. And of course, friends, the only female of the group, but love this female mode of the Change Hero line. And this is new to us in this line, but we did have a female figure from Zenkaiger with Zenkai Majin, but she was different with the transformation of her Kinkai mode as Magic Dragon. But this mode is more thinner, skinnier than an actual male mode. And back to Majin, she had the armor pieces though. So main color is of course yellow and her helmet sculpt, let me get a nice close up here of the helmet sculpt, mainly to show you the details here, but the helmet sculpt looks nice. Got the silver accent with a peach emblem in gold there. And you can see she's got the horn protrusion in silver that's above the visor. And so speaking of the visor, got that nice sunglass design on the uh, visor. And then uh, she's got the spike shoulder pads here, which should be painted silver, mostly the spiky parts here. And of course, missing some white lining here. Pretty much the same thing like Momotaro had. But um, anyway, got some nice uh, silver here on the sleeve on the other side as well. And so again, uh, missing some silver paint detailings on the wrist elbow cuffs and boot ankle cuffs. And so anyway, so still got that nice Gokaiger vibe with the color coded suit over black undersuit with the white lining going down the suit with the Don Brothers emblems on the chest there. And then she's got the Dombra buckle in red again with the peach emblem in silver there. And so Oni Sister as the sole female features a skirt in place of the coattails. And as you remember, Sara Brother is the only member to have coattails. And so this is why she has this to indicate she is a female here. And so anyway, there are her knee pads, pretty much giving me that PlayStation control pad vibe. And then uh, there are boots. And then uh, here is the back, uh, pretty much missing some uh, silver paint detailings on the wrist, elbow cuffs, and knee boot ankle cuffs. And so anyway, so again, this is a very nice mold here. So articulation is the same as Don Mobotaro and Saru Brother, so I won't be doing it on Oni Sister here. Uh, mainly just to drive our attention to the skirt pieces here. And uh, these skirt pieces, they can break into four sections here. And so just doing a little uh, example here. But uh, anyway, as you can pretty much see uh, those four little flap sections and pretty much 
This is to help where it doesn't limit the articulation in the legs here. So very thankful that they did that for the skirt with articulation here, especially for this female mode here, you know, but um, anyway, and so that's why I pretty much want to just show you that because I mean, articulation is the same here. So, but anyway, and lastly, this figure does come with an accessory here. And it is her unnamed club. Uh, yes, which doesn't have a name yet. Which is very nicely, nicely sculpted on this side here. And then uh, hollow on the other side here. And so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, put the club into her hand real quick here. Just to do a quick little pose here. But anyway, uh, that'll do here. So... So anyway, so again, nice job on our first female figure of this amazing line. So here is in you, brother. And no, friends, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. But anyway, the Black Senshi of the series, which he is based on the dog from the Momotaro Legends. So in your brothers features a super deformed body design with a small torso and skinny limbs alongside large hands and feet and an oversized helmet with that cool dog stylings. But friends, I think as a figure, he is cute and funny, maybe because I am a dog lover. So the main color is of course black and this looks better than the CGI. And I'm talking about the figure standard here. But uh, anyway, getting a little close up here, but uh, on the helmet scope, love the doggy ears on the top and got the silver details with a small peach emblem in gold. And you can see the visor got that nice sunglasses design. And you can see the shoulder pads missing some white lining. And then right off the bat, we're pretty much uh, missing some silver paint detailings on the wrist cuffs and the boot cuffs. Again, that Gokaiger vibe with color-coded suit over black undersuit with white lining going down the suit with the two Don Brothers emblems on the chest. And then we he's got that tiny Dombra buckle in red with the peach emblem in silver. And of course, the knee pads still giving me that PlayStation control pad vibe. And so anyway, on the back of Inu Brother, uh, uh, as you can pretty much see, yes, he's got a little dog tail right here on the back here. And of course, he is missing silver paint on the back of the wrist cuffs and boot cuffs. So articulation on Inya Brother is limited with very thin joints because of this deformed body mold. And so the head is on a ball joint, pretty much can go up, down, left, right. Um, and you have just a swivel at the shoulders because of it being so thin. And then you have some nice waist movement and it does pop off and you can't pop it back on here and you got a nice swivel in the legs here which really can't go all the way to the back but hey I'll take what they give us and then he's got a nice little ball joint in his ankles here to where he can do some nice ankle tilts in the foot with those large feet and so anyway let me fix him up here but like I said Articulation is limited here with this guy here. And you can pretty much see why with this thin, thin mold here. But uh, anyway, so here is his accessory that comes with Inu Brother. And that is his unnamed shuriken weapon, uh, which is something uh, the same like Oni's sister with her club, which doesn't have a name yet, but pretty much has the Don Brothers emblem on one side. And the other side is hollow. And so I'm going to go ahead now and put this in his hand here. Just to show uh, you what it looks what he, uh, what he looks like with it. But uh, anyway, so this is nice and cute. To say it is a weird one, sort of like a Sonic the Hedgehogish vibe here. 
Last but certainly not least, friends, here is Kaiji Brother. And so the pink senshi of the series, which he is based on the pheasant from the Mobotaro legend. And friends, the first male pink senshi of Super Sentai history of the five core team. And so Kaiji Brother is more crane-like. A real pheasant has short legs. Again, I feel this looks better than the CGI, talking about the figure standard here. And so the main color is, of course, pink. And so I'm going to get a little closer now with the nice uh, helmet sculpt here. And so anyway, uh, like I said, the helmet sculpt looks neat. Got the, uh, the silver details with a small peach emblem in gold there. And the visor got that nice sunglasses design, which emulates a narrow plumage of feathers and the mouthpiece styled after a bird's beak. And so the shoulders, the shoulder pads, uh, pretty much uh, still missing some white lining. And then uh, pretty much here, uh, we are mi still missing some silver paint detailings on the uh, wrist elbow cuffs and the boot ankle cuffs. So my favorite part of the suit, that Gokaiger vibe with the color-coded suit over black undersuit with white lining going down the suit with the two Don Brothers emblems on the chest there. And then you can see we got the Don Bra buckle in red with the peach emblem in silver there. And then he's got uh, the black pants with his extra long legs and his clawed boots which got some nice silver paint on the toes though. And so on the back, uh, there is his retractable wings that are nice in detail, but I'm gonna raise them up a little bit here just to show a little more of the back here. But uh, anyway, and so still missing paint on the wrists, elbow cuffs and ankle boot cuffs. And then uh, after I retracted the wings up, is showing us a little peg hole. So pretty much a peg hole on the back, mainly for a Tamashii stage to plug into and pretty much to have, you know, uh, Kiji brother hovering over something. So pretty much having him pegged to the Tamashii stage to kind of have like a, a glimpse of him kind of hovering over the team or something. So articulation is pretty decent on this guy with this thin mold. Uh, so he's got a hinge and swivel at the base of the head and a swivel at the base of the neck. And then of course the shoulders connect here. Uh, can move the arms this way and arms can rotate. And then uh, we got a uh, elbow bend, which is a 90 degree bend, which the elbows can go back a bit to do a 180 degree bend. And then we got a wrist swivel here. And then we got a waist swivel here where you could pretty much do some nice swapping with other team members. And then he's got a ball joint at the hip here. And then uh, you can see he's got these massive knee joints because of these thin legs. And of course you can do a nine degree bend, but these joints do make the figure look weird in the back here. But, uh, Anyway, and uh, one thing I do, one other thing I do want to show you is he also has those nice knee pads that give me a PlayStation control pad vibe. And lastly, on the articulation here, he's got a ball joint for those large feet. So giving us some nice ankle tilts with Kiji Brother. Now, I do want to talk about the wings. Now, some people had problems with the wings, so I'm going to advise you now to be very, very careful here. But they put stalks on his back that has a ball joint, and the wing connects to that stalk. In a way, I wish the wings were a solid piece with a stalk and the ball joint all attached to the wing and put the hole on the back. I think that would work a whole lot better. But with that ball joint, you can see it, it pretty much gives articulation in the wings, you know, uh, pretty much, you know, retracting them up and down, you know. But uh, anyway, but I got mine uh, individually with the wings already, already on it. So 
I had no problems, but when you get these set with Domo Bataro, you have to put the wings on. So be very, very careful, friends, when doing that because I saw someone accidentally broke one of the stalks back here uh, and had to get another Kiji brother individually. So anyway, so... So he looks cool in a weird way, more of a Slender Man vibe here. Well friends, final thoughts. Overall, these are decent figures of the remaining four Don Brothers with hit and miss on paint apps. Love the mold on Sarah Brother and the first female mold of Oni Sister in the Change Heroes line. The figures again for Inu Brother and Kaiji Brother are for sure better looking than the CGI. The suits and designs, I totally dig it. Everything Don Brothers is very different. So yes, friends, I 100% recommend these as you have two ways of getting these in a set with Don Mobotaro or individually. And these are cheap mainly for a three and a half inch to a five inch figure pretty much a piece as being sold individually so i definitely do highly recommend these and these are fun i have no complaints i mean yeah hit and miss and so it is what it is but hey this is nice to add with our don mobotaro change heroes figure and so Anyway, friends, well, all I got to say is now, friends, good luck and happy hunting. And so, friends, that is it for this review. Please check out my blog. And make sure, friends, you hit that bell and upload a new video. And, of course, my friends, this review on the Avatar of Sentai, Don Brothers, Change Heroes, Saru Brother, Oni Sister, Inu Brother, and Kaiji Brother. I hope you enjoy. Well, friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing a good day. And, my friends, I'll most assuredly see you next time. Bye, friends.